Hi, I'm Carlin with this week's Science and Tech News. Scientists have announced that the universe is slowly dying, which just goes to show that not all things end with a big bang. Sorry, couldn't resist. You see, approximately 13.82 billion years ago, the universe was born with what many in the scientific community called the Big Bang Theory. No, not the hilarious television show with Sheldon Cooper. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe expanded massively from a super dense state, like a jack-in-the-box popping out. But nothing lasts forever, right? Even fireworks fizzle out after a big explosion. So when a team of 100 scientists from around the world use the best telescopes to study energy from 200,000 galaxies, they discovered that the cosmos is only churning out half as much energy as 2 billion years ago. I guess it's tired of sprinting to the finish line. Lead astronomer Simon Driver said the universe has basically sat down on the sofa, pulled up a blanket, and is about to nod off for an eternal doze. That's no reason to panic, though. They calculate it will take about trillions of years for the starry lights to go off. And when the universe twinkles its very last twinkle, you won't be able to enjoy amazing cosmic events like the Perseid meteor shower. Every August, the Perseid meteor shower dazzles sky gazers with approximately 50 meteors per hour. It's only visible in the northern hemisphere, which is everything above the equator, our planet's big ol' waistline. So what exactly is a meteor? Well, small rocky bodies called asteroids float around in space, and once they enter a planet's atmosphere, they become known as meteors. If a meteor hits the ground, it's called a meteorite. The Perseid meteor shower appears to come from the constellation of Perseus, which is named after the first major mythological Greek hero. You know, the guy who chopped off Medusa's head. What else resembles Medusa's snake-filled head? Google's company branches. So they're splitting into a mega company called Alphabet. The search engine giant that gobbles up letters to spit out answers is lining up its ABCs in to orderly 123s. Alphabet will be the mothership of several companies tied to or owned by Google, including Google itself. In a weird way, it's giving birth to a parent company. See, Google is involved in tons of random projects that aren't directly related to search engine technology, like self-driving cars, human immortality research, and high-tech contact lenses. Talk about a confusing mix. To organize this alphabet soup, pun intended, Google is taking all of its branches and tying them into one big tree trunk. Basically, Google co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin want to have fun working on all the ultra-futuristic stuff, while other people handle the boring search engine responsibilities. Now Google can better focus its money and resources, which is good news for innovation. Speaking of the future, all you Back to the Future fans better buckle up, because Lexus has created an awesome hoverboard. Don't get too excited, though. You won't be zipping around clock towers like Marty McFly anytime soon. Still, Lexus has created an impressive bit of gadgetry. Their board is made of wood, plaster, and other gizmos using a blend of liquid nitrogen and magnets to float about an inch above the ground. Lexus unveiled its hoverboard at a skate park in Spain recently, where the people could fly around on the smoky vapors of nitrogen. Balancing was tricky, since writers compared it to walking on a wobbly tightrope. Give it a few years, though, and I have no doubt that kids will be popping ollies on hoverboards. <laughs>